Right lads, welcome to a region that I barely ever play. I think I've played it twice in the history of Crusader Kings 3. That is, of course, West Africa. Uh, today we're going to be attempting to uh, unify this region and maybe look at some uh, colonization. I don't want to call it reverse colonization because, well, it makes more sense if it's just colonization, we're just going to attack the Europeans. In order to do that, I have a couple of different ideas. Firstly, this region is kind of brutal when it comes to raiding. Uh, everyone gets raided and it's it's kind of a miserable experience for the most part, uh, especially if you don't have a military oriented uh, leader, which we don't. We have paranoid, sadistic and greedy. He is not himself uh, any good at martial, which kind of sucks and we sort of have an air, so that also sucks. We are part of the Akom faith, it has its holy sites scattered around this region here, so we're going to have to start expanding eastwards in order to reform the religion. I am fully intendant on uh, making it a very militaristic one, but for now we have Adorcism, so that's just like seeking it of the spirits. Uh, we have ancestor worship and we have ritual celebrations. Uh, culturally speaking, we've got practice pirates, so we can raid and raid overseas, which is good. Very, very good indeed. Thanks for fishermen and bush hunting. So we're going to use this uh, and just understand pretty much that we are not going to be able to raid the people around us. Instead, we are going to try and see if we can raid up here. As such, we are going to be focusing on chivalry and go for living off the land. Because this guy is an amateurish plotter. His base stats are actually really good for this terrible education that he's got. But men at arms are raised with prestige as well. The issue with having one province as well is that the second that someone comes and occupies us, we can't do anything about it. So we're going to raise all his raiders immediately. And then this guy, for example, who has 131 troops, we're going to nip in and immediately lose two. At which point he is presumably going to raid us, and uh, we're dead. And there you go. That's how That's how easy it is. He didn't even raid us. He just turned up, killed our troops, and left. Okay, uh, our marshal just died. <laughs> it's a horrible start. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I was really banking on getting some prestige, because uh, it's, it's kind of rough otherwise. Okay, you just got raided. I need a second province. I want to wait for my troops to tick back up, and then we're going to hope. Another daughter. Fitting it's who? That guy. It's a lot of troops. Okay, I'm not able to fight that. That sucks. That's my only target. Okay, we're gonna have to go for you. You have to expand quickly in West Africa, man. I'm telling you now. If you don't, then you're dead. Seriously, if you don't expand quickly, it's it's over for you. Because there will always be someone. Look, look at this guy. He's already expanded three provinces. Anytime you see a hint of weakness like this guy here, you have to go after it. Yes, perfect. Let's educate you from now. My hopes and dreams are gonna be pinned on this kid. After this, we'll become the Duke of Kono or... I'm not sure what the title is in West Africa. Also, my voice might sound a little bit deeper deeper, and uh, slightly husky than usual. It's because I'm mildly ill. And it's, yeah, <laughs> that affects your vocal cords. I don't know. It's nice to not be like the, the shrill individual that I usually am. Uh, it's, it's nice to have some cadence to the voice. Maybe I should do my voiceovers now and get them out of the way. Right. I'm planning on having a lot of kids because the idea is that I can use them to fill positions in my cabinet. Another daughter. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have to try and get an ally here. Grab, I don't know where you are, but let's grab you. You have a thousand troops. Excellent. And let's call you in. Now, now, what you? Where are you? I don't like the fact that I can't see you on the map. Of the Kumasi tribe. I will also uh, apologize. I no idea how to pronounce West African stuff. Like, for the most part, you know, Middle East, I've got some inclination because I'm half Arab. Uh, Europe, half uh, British. So, somewhat of a, an idea. You start to get to, uh, to areas like this. And down here, I got nothing. Where are you going, buddy? Land. Help me. Help me. No, we didn't actually need your help. But bro, just siege him. See what I mean? It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit all over the place. All right, we got another person attacking us because they've smelled a little bit of weakness. Fortunately, I have more daughters. Really pensive. Grab an alliance with you, and I'll call you into these ones as well. Okay, let's get rid of this war. You have a thousand. We have more than that. This is a mistake for you. Ah! Ah! You took my player a hostage! Give him back! The now just running all over the place. Put my capital. There's the 100% on him. Is that going to release my son? Yes, perfect. Don't nick my son. No, don't look, lads. There's no need to go to a sea tile there. Hey, courtier, don't kill my courtier. Finish the siege. Just finish the siege. Finish the siege. Please, please, please. Nice. Okay, there we go. I do need Kono. But I can make the duchy now, thanks to that stuff being in gold. Okay. Which means we can actually have vassals. All right, let's begin. Our conquest of the coastline. Thought it would be a bit more grand than that. And everyone else is dead. Okay, we're going to need to invite some people. Let's invite some champions. We've got a raiding perk at least. We only have one champion. Okay. Paranoid. I'm going to gain a lot of stress, but I need these guys. All right, they're going to fight each other. Dude, what is this man? Right, let's call in some allies. Oh, for God's sake. 
This is why you never declare war in this situation. God's sake. Shy, craven, or paranoid. Oh, Jesus, I guess go shy. One of the worst traits in the game. Not probably not going to play as you. So that's finished out a bunch of issues with that. Again, I, I, I still believe like constant expansion is the way forward. Look at Yoruba land. Look at that. Man's a king. I'm be king of Guinea. I need another seven. You only have 300 guys, so let's go in and murder you. That's actually perfect. I need more knights. So I'm very happy that the peasants are rising up. I say it every time, but it's always a good thing. All right, thank you for volunteering. We've got 18 marshal, excellent. Uh, negotiate release, recruit, and uh, that'll be it. Grant this to someone. Immediately jump up to limited travel authority, and we're in the money. Okay, let's keep pushing onwards. Kona has too many allies. What about you? Who are you allied to? Uh, all clustered around here. Because that's the thing. If the allies are like far away, you sometimes are able to nip in and nip out without an issue. Grab another alliance here. Excellent. We we'll have to do that one. Mm, everyone around us has allies. Well, not everyone. It's just a rather heinous display of border gore. Do I care? It's within the kingdom. I want to fall. Look away if you don't like border. If you uh, dislike border gore, ladies and gentlemen. My son's dead. Is that the good son? Or well, is the spare son? Oh god. Kid, uh, you kind of suck. Now we just keep on scouting opportunity. That doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, you know what I can do? This is this is cheeky. This is cheeky. Oh, you're gonna really enjoy this one, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so here's my issue, right? If I attack this Tome a lot, then the Duchy of Loma gets involved, right? Which sucks because he has, I can beat him individually, presumably. I can smash, I can't beat him together. So I need to somehow defeat this army first outside of a war. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab another men at arms regiment, the bush hunters, raise them all as raiders, head into his territory. Okay, what are you? What? Head into his territory and see if we can bait him into raising up some troops. All right, then we we'll fight him, defeat him in battle, and crush his troops. Gonna nip here, disband my army, conquer, raise troops. Oh, come on. Go, siege, 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 siege. Bada bing. I'm pretty much everyone I know died, but that's okay. When can I invite new lads? Okay. One more year. Okay, it's almost drying it. Quickly raise up our troops. Go and murder them. I'm just gonna, hey, I really want to disband my army and I can't whilst you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they instantly hid. The smart decision. Right, let's go raid people. Lord knows we got raided enough. We're an astute intellectual, gluttonous, and cynical. All right, and we're now drunk. Don't try it, buddy. Then he gets home anyway. See, they're all allied there. <gasps> we got an option. Yes, son of the sun. Perfect. Okay, this one I'm gonna educate myself and I don't care about the stress. Wait, a couple of ticks. Nice aggressive attacker. Excellent. Good little trait that. How do you suddenly have a thousand troops? Where'd that come from? Guinea and Uplanders. What do I need to be for this? Illustrious. We're close to being illustrious anyway. It's fine. Look, you can siege my land and return for me sieging yours. My realm is bigger than yours. Man, that was a good battle. Seems a bit harsh for us to just like, cut off this man. Okay, who are you? Loma. Again, huh? I only have one ally. Woo! An ally Kong. Perfect. I'm going to be constantly losing uh, prestige because of my heavy reliance on uh, my own men at arms. I need to make sure I'm doing this. Stay with me. Stay with me, buddy. All right, let's go over here. Excellent. Ah, we took his son and hair. Hair? Son and heir captive. All right, it's another defensive war. Yeah, if you enjoy, like, war in CK3, then this is, <laughs> this is the region for you. It is ridiculously chaotic. See, what's just happened there? is uh, the Loma guy, who just attacked me, along with this man, uh, is now significantly weaker because we defeated his armies, and so I can pick off one of his allies. We all hinged on that battle. Five out of four. Probably they don't attack me together, we're fine. And some more knights. I'm now melancholic. I've inherited a man. The thing is, because of my constant conquest, I never have enough prestige or money, typically, to develop the land I'm in, so I really have to play super wide in order to take out the more tall kingdoms. These are some skilled individuals, though. Did my wife die? No, she's... A bit more useless now. Alone take that capital. Just about, my god. Okay, we're gonna have more knight effectiveness because I've got some decent champions. Well, I've got. Well, this guy's an absolute legend. 31. How do you have such high prowess? Blade Master, Gallant, Stalwart, Leader. Fair play. Still chipping away at this guy's allies. He's imprisoned by me, which, in my opinion, should mean that his nation doesn't fight mine. But sure, 25 for my daughter back. Perfect. That's another alliance right there. 4,000 troops. How? I like to this guy. I mean, he's kind of far away. So you can start to see. At the start of the game, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite spread out, and now it's getting more and more homogenous. In the time that it took for, like, what, the Amides to, to collapse a little bit, the Abbasids to work things out, you know, Wessex has slightly got more territory. West Africa just collapses and forms again. 2,000 troops. I'm pretty sure that if you go... Oh, he's going up raiding. Yeah, West Africa's fun because he got me so situationally rare. Uh, okay, he's going to go raid, which gives me time to declare war on this guy. And finally unify Como. Get these troops early. Got us some war horse. 
Obviously, we'll call him Bucephalus, as is my tradition. Could climb on the coastline a little bit more. Does count as the king of Guinea? Yes, it does. Okay, fine. We'll do that. We can start conquering duchies now. 48. You can, you can, you still got some years in you. Thank you for distracting him, such that I'm able to just take this territory. Really, you're gonna try and raid that? I'm right here. Okay, so we need a duchy title now. Uh, I wanted to be the Bassa duchy, but I don't have the claims on. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. It curves round. See, nice. Okay, well, let's do that one because my capital. And now we can form the kingdom of Guinea. As Oma Omanheni. Oh no, this is gonna be hard to pronounce. Omanheni. We have new duties and responsibilities. So let's let's have a look. Nana Yakpawolo of Bubo is looking stern learn sternly at me. Why am I struggling with the sternly part? Nice. Okay. Let's enter into our royal court, which looks, um, I don't know, it looks too Arab to me. It doesn't look very um, uh, West African. I thought there should be a bit more to this. High tribal authority, get yeah, dynasty legacy. Castle warriors, and we can start conquering a few more provinces at a time. Like from this chap. Look, if we're to one day take on the Europeans, we've got to make sure we're unifying West Africa first. Paranoid, shy, or craven. Why are these all the only options? Perfect, we've got a war banner, and we instantly capture the guy. We take the provinces. We only have 152 troops. So. Cheeky little victory for me, I assume. Not like this guy was a prodigy or anything. He just, you just, everyone just left. <laughs> I thought I was expecting a fight. Everyone just left. I don't know, this guy's a very uh, mid character, but he's actually done a lot in his time. Horrible connect collection of traits: paranoid, sadistic, greedy, he's an amateurish plotter, he's an aggressive attacker, drunkard, melancholic. My God, I don't keep crawling around the coast, I suppose. This guy's meant to be my ally, but he keeps on joining all of my uh, enemies. I suppose that is because I'm fighting all of his allies. That's five thousand soldiers. That'd have been very problematic had I not. Nip didn't want that. I did not realize he had that many allies. Keep on going down the coast. I want to raid Rome at some point before this guy dies. The issue is every time I give away a province, I gain stress because he's greedy. Raid master, you're one ID. I mean, you're not bad, kid. Your son seems a lot better, though. Your son? Sorry, your brother. Guy's my longtime rival. I really want to ruin him. So are they all, technically. I don't. What is this? You land. 3,000 troops. Damn. I'm the emperor of Guinea, yeah? To handle all these territories. How many troops does Yoruba land have? Invading a kingdom cost me 500, and I have to be exalted amongst men. Okay, well, I can get there. All right. Things seem stable enough that I think I'm gonna go raid the Mediterranean. Really wanna kill this guy. Okay, one of your allies is my vassal, so you're not gonna be able to use him. He has 2,000. I'm fairly confident. Could go very poorly. He's all the way over there. I reckon I could siege him down before the other guy gets here. Especially if he's going raiding. Open to leave, conquer Dutchie, let's go. Please capture him. Yes, nice, okay. My champion's a genius. Can I have him as my heir? Can I pretend he was mine all along? All right, that's my main rival in the region, gone. Because so now you're my main rival. Yeah, these are actually starting to get some big numbers. Oh, has 2,600 troops. Ugh. It's not about the sweeping conquests of duchies. It's also sometimes about nipping in little counties where you can to limit your opponents. Sadistic, zealous, or ambitious. Ambitious, please. Excellent. There you go. Defend ourselves against who? Where do you come from? I want revenge. That's a lot of allies. Yeah, I feel like the what the the individuals that have allies are the ones that won't die. Who's the king of Iran? Okay, I see we came to play today. Just keep getting a little bit stronger each time. You only have 14 troops. Well, I have a slightly more than that. And in West Africa at this time, that's all that kind of matters. With the Jalan. Now you actually have, like, an army. Okay, so you are a skill tactician and a reaver. Still kind of mid. <laughs> your brother might actually be better than you. And I really tried with you, despite the fact you're ambitious. None, you only have one stat in the double digits. Oh, my wife's dead. Well, that's actually kind of a good thing, because I can marry you. Oh, of course, my eyes are married. Damn, I should have handed that the entire time. No one who's a genius. What about intelligence? A 12 year old. That'll do. Just, I'm such a bully, man. I just keep on finding these little guys with no real allies. And then I'm just going after them. No, oh, it looks like different empires or kingdoms are collapsing around me, which is very useful. I would say the main asset this man has brought us is his old age. Because whilst everyone else around him is dying and their kingdoms are being split between his uh, his children, or oh, their children, uh, he, he hasn't died. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just waiting for children to come of age and then I'm just introducing them to the harsh reality of their modern existence. Oh no, we've got another son. That's going to split our empire into three. The thing is, the kid will probably is just going to be sitting here. So hopefully, we can nick him. I don't know what the sense of chance is, but usually it's a decent one. Mm, not this time. Oh, nice. Big enough battle. Look, Kong. Couple of allies, but nothing too serious and probably worth me nipping you in the bud. You tend to get a little bit strong for my liking. Now, sounds harsh, but at some point, we've got to start thinking about how we're gonna murder our children. Dutch, they only have one heir. 
It's just the standard, it's my standard play. And you can't say it's not role played because our guy is sadistic. Oh, Bocephalus is dead. Sucks. What happened to my wife? Why is she imprisoned? I think I clicked an event and imprisoned my wife by mistake. <laughs> Crippled my own realm. I should probably start giving away the stuff of mine that I haven't uh, actually developed. Alright, finally I can go after Mao. This is when I'm at my best in CK3. <laughs> Alright, there seem to be some raiders in my land. I mean, you know, at least there were some raiders in my land. Right, should we start developing our capital a little bit? Because, you know, haven't been doing that. It's of wars, cultural acceptance, one seat on the council. Duh, 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 duh. All right. And conquer a duchy over here. He has 3,000 troops. Or at least him and his allies do. So let's uh, get rid of some of those. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Capture the son and heir. Sure. The first time one of my allies has called me into war for a while. My son and champion. He's not my heir though, is he? I'll give him a chiefdom. Why not? I'm a nice guy. Despite the fact I'm sadistic, greedy, paranoid, and all the rest of it. That's outside the game. We're going to go to absolute tribal authority. All right. D Oh god. I need to fill out this entire tree to feudalize. We already can raid overseas though. But it does unlock the ability to sail in major rivers so we can go take out Paris. That sounds like fun. But it's gonna take too long. I'm gonna decide on my next moves. What? All oh, right, yeah, that's not my war. Ghana's probably the biggest threat, but they're also not in the empire I want to create, so it doesn't really matter. This lot, on the other hand, could invade his kingdom, just take a bunch of territory from him, which I think is a good idea. It goes a long way for us to form the empire of Guinea. We're only a third of the way there. This guy is 62. <laughs> Done a lot in his 62 years, don't get me wrong, but it's a feast. We enjoy because we're sadistic. Guy's just a bit of a dick. Sure, let's educate the other one then. Uh, did you have any intelligent kids? No. Nope. What? Well, she's pregnant. All right, we're going to go invade the kingdom of Akan. Let's do it. So I nicked his chair. <laughs> Couple of victories. Excellent. That's a four. I don't have to waste time sieging down forts. A couple battles should do it, to be honest. 82%. Get my wife sleeping with another man. That's that's okay. That's fine. I've done worse in my lifetime. And she's helping out with my stewardship, so I can't really complain. And as I say that, I'm dead. Do get this stuff. Last little gift from our father. Bunch of territory. We have a son. He's intelligent. That's good. So you've done your job. So, <laughs> cool. Goodbye. Uh, I need someone who's really good at... We'll take the, uh, the hit. The prestige side of things. All right, let's give away a bunch of land. We're going to have a bunch of loyalists over here. May need to lower our tribal authority. Actually, a lot of this, these areas have good stuff. Okay, you don't. Be a bit more strategic about the ones that I give away. Obviously, we're keeping Bassa, but this one can go. And we keep some good stuff. No. All right, we have a bunch of cash to deal with rebels, which I believe is going to be necessary. Do you have any allies? No. Do we have anyone we can marry off? My sister. Fortunately, it doesn't seem that I can do that. Ah, oh, we got cash anyway. Why am I rivaling this woman? I killed her. Killed her husband. Got 34 learning though. Not quite as powerful as my father, but enough. I don't have any prestige. Okay. Well, I have an idea. We can raid across the sea, right? But where should we raid? Portuba sounds pretty good. Let's do it. I can't traverse this body of water. That's upsetting. Fine. We'll go around here. Fight you battle. Gain us 250 prestige. Fight another. Oh, he just left. <laughs> guy's actually insanely wealthy. I should probably use that. All right, I'm going to go around raiding for a little bit so I can gather up my prestige. Where the hell did all the prestige go? Oh, I didn't use it or anything. That must have happened. All right, the boys are going to start raiding over here. How many troops does Yoruba land have? Not as many as myself, but enough such that I'm now going to go into my own land and disappear. Or at least deliver the the, uh, the loot. <laughs> Get out of there. Go, 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 go. A successful raid, it seems. Right, now we want to start thinking about our ultimate aim of the Empire of Guinea. We're about halfway there. We need to clean up some of these lot. We need to get to Illustrious so we can start doing duchies. It does appear that you have a claim on the entire duchy itself. Okay. Ooh, I didn't check how many troops he has. Not as many as me. And yeah, there are a lot of troops here. Doesn't matter, because we have even more. God, I wish, I long for the days of my father when we had 5,000. Oh, we actually do have that. This actually might just do it right now if we win this siege. 96, close enough to be annoying because it's not going to tick up to 97. Uh, do we need another battle? Yeah, we've got maximum battles. Might be able to kidnap him though. Come on, before he wins that siege. Then should, am I gay? I'm bisexual. All right, there we go. Enforce demands, introduce that individual into my realm. You probably really like me now. No, you don't. You want to see on the council? We've got 19 in stewardship. Is that, that's better than my current guy, eh? Absolutely. I can't put Nana Borni on it. Till 39. 20 years? 30 sucks. Oh yeah, it's this guy. My old friend. Well, my father's old friend, technically. It's not, I don't owe, owe the guy any loyalty. So uh, let's just rumble on over here and just murder him. Or we could just go out and piecemeal. That's also an option. Thus, destabilizing my entire realm because now people are more powerful than I am. Why do you hate me? The desire to achieve them, your ambitious, short reign. All my rivals keep on dying, but they're not like, it's not, I haven't done anything to do that. Why are you not suffering attrition? Oh, you are I'm suffering dramatic attrition. I need to start upgrading my own holdings soon. But I'm just keep on trying to get towards the illustrious things. So we can start conquering duchies and then remove everyone that is unnecessary. Yeah, uh, sun on board. Let's do that. 
give him plus two learning. Yeah, this kid. L6, what, what the hell happened? Okay, apparently I have lands over here now. Fickle, wrathful, or forgiving. Go wrathful. What? I just gave you territory. Why do you hate me? Zealous versus cynical. Person to him, see, not rightful liege. Not rightfully. I just made that. Not rightful liege. The only thing these people respect is strength. Which is fair enough. It's also the same for me. Uh, battle should seal the victory. Nope. And I can't murder this man anymore. I hate when people get in the way of my murder plots, you know? Hope you learned your lesson, mate. Right, let's recover a little bit. Because we actually have a ton of levies. Shy, impatient, gluttons. Go impatient. I'm not, not messing around with shy. Because I'm just prepping such that I can invade the kingdom. I need to be exalted amongst men, though. So one more and then I can invade your Oberland. What I can do, though, is declare war on you for a duchy. I will do that in a bit. Because Guinea stretches far east. I'm going to sway this guy, see if I can convince him to just become my vassal peacefully. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> what about the sun? Minus 23. Okay, I'm going to send you a gift. Oh, God, there's a third army. Okay, we are... Almost at full strength, though, which is nice. What? Did you just run? Oh, dude, come on. No, don't go into the into the sea, please. No, stop it. Stop insisting to follow him on sea. I thought I said Mansa Musa. I was like, oh my god. You're a bit early, mate. Screw it. I've got the money. Pay for it. What is this odyssey you're going on? Arrogant, compassionate. Go, go, compassionate. Go, compassionate. Dude, just stop running. 200 of you. You weren't ever going to do anything in the first place. All right, let's go after you for the duchy. Might as well shore up my north, because these guys will all declare war on me. The second I get into a tough war with you, I know, I could see it happening. We get into a tough war with your land, and then immediately, everyone declares war on me, because that's what West Africa's like in this time period, and others. I'm not going to say which others. To be fair, it, it does amaze me the degree to which people sort of view West Africa as a homogenous state in the modern day. One of the most diverse areas on the goddamn planet, and people just, like, <laughs> generalize it quite a bit. They do the same with, like, the entirety of Africa, though, to be fair. Right, now it's time to just go eastwards. Uh, well, there's this place here. Okay, you need your lands. Be really cool if uh, in CK3 you could like, not like, not like declare a great holy war because obviously you can do that anyway. But like declare some sort of like vassal swarm crusade where you are uh, not like a head of faith, but like you you run like a federation, right? And if all your vassals are loyal, then they'll actually join in the fight. And then you just send them. All right, search for a physician. We've got loads of money. Yeah, sure, sponsor inspiration. Uh, it's not my war banner, but I'm putting it there anyway because uh, it looks cool. But Grandia will pay for... What else can I spend money on? Uh, I suppose different court positions. I never do this. It's always a waste of money, but like, I, I don't have any other choice. Get a court, grab a uh, master of the horse, royal architect, get whatever that is. Possibility for stress out. Everyone's horrible at being a court jester. Okay, I thought we became gluttons. No, I was already fat. <laughs> sure, I'll give me this guy an antiquarian. I've got money for it. We're an eagle rev we're a shy eagle reveler. Now if that doesn't if that doesn't sum up me as a person, I don't know what is. Because I'm incredibly introverted. But I really do enjoy a good uh, good foray at the old the old club. <laughs> I should film it. It's fun. Right, we're going to declare war for a county first. We'll go for a duchy later on. Astute intellectual. Oh, nice. Patient, wrathful, and compassionate. Feels like a strange human. <laughs> All right, you're unmarried. Are there any geniuses that are? Perfect. Really? He passed away again? What about this kid? Oh, we got a crown. Wonderful. All right, there's 100%. A lot of men died for that one province, but it sets us up nicely later. Going after your other land is the, be is the next best play. I went through a phase of trying to learn uh, different... Uh, African dialects from what would be described as native ones to um, more mixed ones like uh, Afrikaans. Mainly because my father knew a bunch of them. Okay, direct vassals are an issue right now. All right, let's gather on up for a big battle. Nope, only some raiders. There we go. What's this for? No one conquest of. Okay, well, I'll send some troops over there soon. Let me, let me win this war against Yoruba land first. Uh, four, three, six. We'll lose a bunch of casualties here, but we get a couple of victories off. Bender of Faith and Theologian. And our granddaughter's a genius. Excellent. I can't tell if I'm getting... Oh, I'm getting attacked. Right, I, I, was, I couldn't tell if I was getting called into things. What did I say about whole, the whole uh, Yoruba land thing? I said people would try and take me out. Okay, now that's dealt with. Uh, Northern lot up here. More Northern lot. They're fighting over the same province of mine. Okay, well, let's see how well that goes for you. So I'll the direct vassal stuff pretty soon. I really wanted to vassalize you peacefully, man, but I guess I'll just take your land. Right, so up here. Okay, so over, over here. There's a three-way war currently going on. Uh, two different individuals want to take my land. So I'm going to kill them both. Just trying to span this army, but I can't because there are people too close. It's just suffering so much attrition. Okay, force demands. This bandle. Let's figure out what the hell's going on now. So I need to start creating some stuff. Do I have three duchies? Because this is what the money's for, eh? To be fair, there's no need for me to be on high tribal authority. I'm just flexing on them. 89 years old. You legend. Go on, have that one then. 
Well, that's how you get a bunch of uh, prestige really quickly. Yeah, so oh, the guy who hates me by minus 99, I'm not going to be putting in charge of my own personal safety. Just a thought. Now, I'll have a truce with you for three years, and then I'll go after you and invade you. But now, let's keep... Okay, nope, can't go after you. I can. Wonderful. I want to start saving up my piety for the inevitable reformation of our faith. Because this character is most likely to be able to do it. He is 62 though, so I want to be wary of that. Grandson is sickly, but he's intelligent. Not quite the genius I was hoping for. We're after Canem for like one of these duchies down here. Right, I'll nip in here, conquer this county. Anytime I see anyone that's in the Empire of Guinea, it's available for the taking. Uh, where's that? Okay, let's just send some mommies back. <laughs> he's just left his province, he's just watching it. Thing is, if you're not gonna fight me, why even bother like raising your troops? Why not just surrender? It's always another realm. We did become possessed, but that's a virtue to uh, our faith. We are also almost a religious icon. I actually have two of the three senses of faith. Once we take Yoruba land, we'll have the last one. Let's save, start saving up our piety from now. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Don't know why I haven't been doing that the entire time. We are a pilgrim. 13 months, one more year. In the meantime, I should be able to declare war on you. Damn, that's a lot of violence in this area. Let's go join in. I don't even know who I'm attacking. Understandable. Man has just murdered me. It was it was a three to one fight. I lose the trait cynical. I don't know how cynical affects. You know, we'll lose we will lose the, the cynical trait because obviously we need it to gain more piety. Or at least we need to lose it to gain more piety. Man, I, I kinda th those events make me miss like the craziness of CK2. So I, I might make a poll and see how people feel about me playing CK2 on the channel, as well as CK3. Dude, this guy keeps on just destroying me in battle, like two to one. So yeah, if people want to see me like do some stuff in CK2, because um, I made one video in CK2 where I uh, played as, like it was the Game of Thrones mod. All right, let's see if we can win this time. Nope, just crushes us once more. <laughs> Bro, I don't understand what it is. I'm having to fully occupy this guy. All right, let's see if I can beat him here. There you go, finally. All right, we inherited something somewhere. Teach when you have a realm this big. I'm trying to scan around to see if you can find what you inherited. This guy. He had this title. This one. Okay, excellent. Rather painful experience, that one. All right, now we can invade the kingdom of Yoruba land. Thousand prestige it'll cost us. Come and collapse on him. I'm gonna blitz the capital. They usually have some guys there. My wife is dead. <laughs> Ning Naria is uh, available for us to marry, which is an incredible name. How much does he have? 21. I don't know why I read that as 91. That's like 91 diplomacy. Let's keep nipping around. How far into my land are you gonna go? Before you really, like, you know, even further? Okay. Meanwhile, let's arrest our wife and then immediately release her. Give this dude some gold and give even more gold out because that's the kind of ruler we are. The West African monarch simulator. All right, half you chaps will go and take out this guy. The other half are going to go and siege. However, probably a good idea if I allow you to get some supplies back. When you're dealing with like armies of this size, um, the temptation is obviously to mad rush it, but that's a terrible idea. My wife, oh right, she's in prison, my bad. I got to release her, casually forgetting I imprisoned my wife. I just escaped through the window because I'm shy. Some people try to host a uh, surprise birthday party for me. It just dip. We've all been there before. We'll take 100%. And we've got Yoruba Land. Dynasty Legacy. Keep pursuing that one. All right. And now we get the fun part of the, the vassal management. Can't disband my troops because I have to go and deal with 400 peasants. And that's that done. Because I always have to wait seven months. Oh, really? I need one more county to create the empire. Be useful, know thyself. It'll tell us when we're going to be dead in a year. Oh, nice. That's an instant victory. Now, Empire of Guinea, we just need another kingdom title. Uh, Guinea is going to integrate all this lot, so let's take Yoruba land. Now, we become the Emperor of Guinea. That is a very satisfying border. Aka, akan, akahini, akanene. If anyone knows how to pronounce any of those things, please do let me know. But more importantly, we've grabbed hold of a couple of different holy sites. We've accrued enough such that we should be able to right, grab ourselves Warmonger, some extra county conversion speed for Medicam preachers. Tempted to go human sacrifice as well. Grab some fundamentalism, lay clergy, temporal head of faith, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we need like another hundred piety. There's 50 right there. Is that enough? I think it is. Form the Akom faith. Most will convert, we become head of faith. Kind of want to go polygamous. That's actually really useful when it comes to eugenics. There's a horrible, horrible sentence to say. Ah, I'll be dead within a year. Right, so if we could grab some piety, that'd be wonderful. How much do we need? 4350. I'm missing 24. All oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at that being like, hmm, that says 4-4 four, four to me. There we go. Okay, so we reform it into this. We get some Medicamp. So basically, we're warmongers. We sacrifice people for fun. Uh, and we're also Medicamp preachers, which gives us more faith when we travel and also we get higher county conversion speed there we go 
We've also gone for polygamous. So that converts that. And now we have 20,000 men. It's a shame I'm going to be dead soon because I could have declared a, a cheeky little holy war. Ooh, subjugate. <gasps> I could declare a subjugation war. Do it. Because that'll carry over even if I'm dead. It said my lineage has come to an end. Uh, not, it's not the case. But what? But that's my heir and he's still alive. Okay, we're going to see what, what's happening here. It's not saying anything about, yeah, look, my heir. Play heir as son. Session. Why do I not have an heir? Why is it going to this guy? Sorry, I need to have a, I can't, I have to have absolute crown authority to have a designated heir. Ah, okay, right. Okay, I see what's happened here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know in a sec once I've fixed it. Okay, so the issue was that his, his faith, like, isn't the right one. So I don't think he's allowed to inherit. But I can demand he converts to the, like, actual faith. And that should fix it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what a strange quirk. Also, um, I had to force him to divorce his wife because his wife was a ruler in her own right. So, because we're polyamorous, uh, let's get someone that won't result in me losing any piety. Or, sorry, any, uh, and then we'll grab this woman. I'm gonna need my kids to all convert. Thank you very much. All right, a final gift my father, the Kingdom of Guinea. There's no way he doesn't rise up against me. <laughs> we do have most of, uh, sorry, the Kingdom of Ghana. We have most of our, of West Africa under our control, which was the aim. I don't know how much longer we're gonna keep it there for, but. Now comes the part of CK3 where I sit down for about 30, 40 minutes and fix my realm. <laughs> Damn, this guy's at 41. Get in there. Look, he's gonna start converting places left, right, and center. Mm, looks like you should have uh, been looking towards your own realm instead of mine, bud. Nice little revolution you got there. Actually, this one hasn't been bad. I don't know what happened. I thought everything was gonna rise up against me, and now they just all chilled. I'll take it. It's me free to do what I want, which is this. Told you we're gonna start invading Europe. Make sure to repair all this stuff. My son is a vengeful, lazy craven. The hell he is! Right, let's start getting some eugenics in here. I'm not having that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Really, no one is a genius. I can't find a single genius. There's not a single intelligent woman in West Africa. What do you mean? Found a holy order. Let's do that. Unite Africa. I mean, I, it shouldn't be too hard, but it just it would just take a long time. And we only... Sorry. <laughs> In return for uniting the continent of Africa, or at least, you know, the upper half of it, we get 750 for his <laughs> No special, no, nothing special, just, just that. Let me check the rest of the world. I haven't actually looked at the rest of the world. That was a Bori Reformation as well. That's nice one. Good job. I'm gonna go take Rome now. My troops are sort of mildly hardened by like years and years of warfare. With literal decades of just fighting the hell out of each other. So our troops are just inherently better. <laughs> That's a... 26 year old pope that is a young pope dude i wish we could figure out what the hell the siege engine was we've lost like 4,000 troops in just sieges at this point it's just fortunate he didn't attack us okay he just his troops just disappeared all right there's the 100 right we've nicked rome i'm gonna keep it for myself <laughs> oh i like that the uh the holy order chilling over here i can't grant a leased out title i don't think palmer's leased out but sure it's gonna take 19 months to raise him up again <laughs> christian face now have access to the crusades well i have just taken rome Alright, it's gonna take another year to summon everyone. The new, I mean, Guinea, uh, Ghana's just like dead as a kingdom. <laughs> Increased cultural acceptance between the Lombards and myself. Anyone's done raising up all the troops? Three days after all that. <laughs> right as I summoned all the troops. <laughs> it, just, it just ended. Six years it'll take, just six years. Uh, what? Oh nice, I can just get rid of them. That makes my life easier. Okay, this one's better. <laughs> the issue was the learning was too low, but my wife fortunately wanted me to get rid of them, so. Far cry from my heydays of like 20,000 troops, but he's, he's doing all right. The crusade for the king of Jerusalem. Sorry, you focused on Jerusalem instead of taking back Rome. I have the center of your faith. You want that back. Like I, I, I'm literally looking at the Aurelian walls and the Colosseum. <laughs> um, we've just converted this lot to Akov. <laughs> uh, Rome is now uh, form. <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of our faith. And I think that is where we'll leave it today. If that doesn't count as colonization, I don't know what does. I mean, definition of colonialism is the policy or practice of acquiring full or partial political control over another country, occupying it with settlers and exploiting it economically. If that's not what I've done over here, I don't know what is. Because I'm still Italian, but I've definitely uh, sent some boys over there, if you know what I mean. Sure, you can have a favor on me if you become <laughs> ACOM. There you go. Even the bishop is, is, is controlling. Amazing. Right, we make a lot of money. We have a bunch of troops. Uh, I was considering murdering the Byzantines because, um, quite frankly, we could just summon a frightening amount of mercenaries. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think it really feels necessary. I think we prove what we did. One thing that was interesting doing there is a, a Jewish uh, 
kingdom you can form in India. That could be kind of fun. If that's what you want to see, do let me know. Otherwise, I might return to go on some Viking stuff. Maybe doing his, some historical Viking conquests could be fun. Because I, I did write a paper on uh, Viking colonies. Um, although there were supposed Norse colonies is the more appropriate terminology. I don't... So yeah, do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.